Hey guys and welcome to Rise of Scale. So I've got three out of three page one rankings in a few hours with my new Perplexity.ai programmatic SEO approach, which writes highly factual data-driven articles that also sound human. Is it too good to be true? Let's find out. So first things first, let me just show you the article. So this one is does Higgs bypass has AI detection. Let's just paste this in Google. And this is the first page. Here is my article. So nine hours ago, I'm already on page one. It's just example one. Let's try another one. And I just wrote the three. So just three articles. Okay. Oh, I'm actually occupying the second place. And again, just eight hours ago. And what about the last one? The last one. Oh, okay. So I'm actually number one after this sponsored article. Beautiful. Best part is let's just copy this article here, for example. As you can see, beautiful infographic. Lots of data, custom table. It's a shorter article. So for programmatic SEO, I usually aim at around 500 words. Let's go to Hemingway first. Let's paste this in. This is grade 8 readability, just over 600 words, about 0 GBD. And 0 GBD says it's sub 5% AI, meaning 95% human. So maybe it's a fluke. Let's test another one of my articles. Again, beautiful infographics. Okay, let's check this one. This one is 0% AI, meaning 100% human. Last one. Again, custom infographics. One of my videos. And just look at this. Look at this video. Going back to 0 GBD. And it's 16% AI, so on a higher scale, but still this is acceptable to me. And as you may know, I've started my school community. And as part of this community, you will get a complete workflow with all the steps, all the prompts, if you join. So step number one is you need to go to Perplexity, a pro version. And I've tested R1 and O3 and Pro. R1 is still the best as far as the diversity of sources, the amount of sources. And one of the more important things is you have to choose web and social for this to work. I'm pasting this huge prompt and there are a few important components. And this is an innovation. I'm actively asking AI to double check itself against various criteria, then the actual prompt with the outline, and the outline is that of programmatic SEO. So for every every time I need to change the outline, I've just created this little tool. Well, this is for search AI. Let's say I need it for SEO writing. And the outline changes the real time. I just copy this and that's it. So the outline stays exactly the same. Okay. So a very short intro, quick summary, features, then the performance of search graph in this example against all the most popular A detectors. It's a very short article, and this is the most important part. So the prompt actually carried out a source audit. It included some of the sources prioritized social and video over text and more recent sources over older ones. And that was extremely important to me. So this is the bulk of the article. Then what you can also do is run this little prompt. I usually like to change it to O3 mini. Because sometimes it just renders everything inside of perplexity. It doesn't happen very often, but sometimes it does. Okay, so we got a Python script for a chart. All we have to do is go to ChatGPT, even a free version. Turn the below into HTML that I can embed into WordPress. And before pasting this into WordPress, we can use a tool called Code Beautify, for example, to make sure everything is working correctly. We need to choose the HTML viewer for that. Okay, looks like it's ready. Just need to paste this in. And this is a fully interactive chart, beautiful, beautiful chart that we can just paste into WordPress as custom HTML, and that's going to work. Another super cool thing that you can do inside of Perplexity. Is go to generate image and click on the plus sign first, then on the tool icon which says custom prompt, and run this very unsophisticated prompt using digital art cyber style, generate featured image with a text overlay saying, and this is basically my title. Make sure the text is accurate and displayed as is. Also, I've been playing around with Gwen's AI image generator, and Gwen 2.5 is a free LLM from China. So we just choose create an image, then you run this prompt, and let's compare the two. Oh, beautiful. 
Everything is very accurate, and this is Flux. Does search graph passing and detection. And look at this. Does search graph passing and detection as well. So we can use either Gwen for free or the inbuilt perplexity AI image generator powered by Flux. Then basically you paste everything in. And just to make sure that this is human, let's just copy this text in front of you. Let's run it through my perplexity formatter. Let's copy the output back to Markdown. And then let's test this with zero GBD. So I don't need the source audit, obviously. Let's exclude that. And this is 0% AI, so 100% human. It's based into Hemingway, grade 10. So this is on a higher reviewability level, but still very acceptable to me. So this is it. Again, this workflow is going to be available for the school community members, which is a paid community that I have just started. I am fully intended on creating a whole more of these kinds of workflows for different use cases. So stay tuned, enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.